Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to explain sample program using multiple inheritance. First of all, before discussing program, we have to know what is multiple inheritance. In multiple inheritance, what we are doing? We are taking more than one superclass. I have A class, B class, then we are going to create a new class that is child class from more than one parent classes. Here this is super class, this is also super class, this is subclass. That means a subclass is having more than one super class is referred as multiple inheritance. But in our Java language, a Java subclass would have only one super class. For example, to implement that, what we have to do? We have to take class A. Next, we have to take class B. Next, we have to create C class by extending A class and B class extends A ka, extends A extends B that means now my all this A and B are already existing classes hence these are referred as super classes this also super classes whatever class we are creating this is called subclass ok but there is a rule in our Java language. Every Java subclass will have only one superclass, but it is having two superclasses. To overcome this problem only, they have introduced interfaces concept. Already in my previous video, I explained what is interface, how to work with interface. Go and watch that video for a better understanding of this concept. Okay. That means instead of taking this class, uh, okay, A class or B class, take any one as interface. Either A as interface or B as interface. Now I am taking A as interface. Now I have to create, we have to create C class from A interface and B class. Already explained to create a class from already existing interface. We have to use implements keyword. To create a class from already existing class, we have to use extends keyword. Here we are using A as interface, so we have to write class C implements A extends B. Like this, we have to create multiple inheritance. Sir, why you are taking A as interface? Can I take B as interface? Your wish. Either A or B, you have to take interface, then you have to write. Suppose if you take, now I will take class as A as class only, but I will take B as interface. This is interface. Okay, now I am creating C class, class C extends A then write implements B means we are creating C class from A class and B interface ok that's why I have explained a class can extend another class an interface can extend another interface but a class will implement interface. It means if you want to create a class from already existing class, we have to use extends keyword. To create interface from an existing interface, we have to use extend keyword. But to create a class from interface, we have to use implements keyword. This is the concept. I will explain a complete program to implement multiple inheritance. Okay, as usual, when writing program, we have to write import java.io.star. Dot 
Next, I am taking A interface. Interface A. Add explain interface contains what? Constant values and abstract methods. So, I am taking one constant value that is pi value. Final float pi equal to 3.14 f. It is having abstract method. What is abstract method? It is not having any body. Okay, simple declaration. Okay. Next, I am taking class B. This class contains one value. The value is float radius. Here I am taking normally class contains what? It may contains variables, methods. Okay. It may have two types of methods, concrete method or abstract method. If a class is having at least one abstract method, it is abstract class. In next video, I will explain what is abstract class. Okay? But as of now, you know that class contains variables, constants, and concrete method. What is the purpose of concrete method? Okay. The concrete method is having body. Abstract method means it does not have body. Why read? I am taking radius equal to 5.5 5.5 f see already I declared radius as float value when you are going to work with float values we have to use capital F or small f otherwise by default Java language will treat these float values as double values to restrict these values as float value we have to use Capital F or small f at the end of the value. This read method close. Last close. Now I am writing class C. Okay, I am creating from A interface. So implement C A and B class extends B. When you are going to use inheritance concept, that is, when you are going to implement inheritance from the classes or interfaces, all the properties of interface and class will be acquired by newly created class. Now, I will get pi value here, area metra here, radius value here, real metra here. Okay, but listen, when you are going to create a class from the interface, Interface may have one abstract method, two abstract methods, or three abstract methods. Those abstract methods should be defined in the newly created class. Okay? Now we are creating anyhow class C extends B. Read method will come here, radius will come here. Implements A. This pi value will come here, area method also will come here. But this area is abstract method. When we create a class from the interface, that interface may have one abstract method, two abstract methods, or three abstract methods. All those methods should be defined here. So, I have to define that method. Okay, when you are going to define that method, we have to define that method as public method. Public wide area. The purpose of this area is, I want to find out area of circle. To find the area of circle, what is the requirement? The formula of area of circle is, 3.14 into r square r into r radius into radius i have taken pi value constant i require area matrix is there i am having radi uh, radius value so okay in this method the purpose of area matrix it has to calculate area of that is circle so double result equal to double result equal to because of writing class C implements A extends B. Okay. I will get pi value here, area method here, radius here, read method here. That means I am getting 5.5 value also. The formula for calculating area circle is pi. Okay. 3.14 value is stored under the name pi. Pi into R. Okay. Radius is stored under the name radius into radius. In your mathematics, you can write radius square, but this is the program to write radius okay, into radi radius square means radius into radius. System dot out dot printed and
द एरिया ऑफ सर्क्रीज द एरिया ऑफ सर्किट इज डबल कोर्स प्लस डिज अंडर द नेम रिजल्ट डिफरेंट द वैल्यू इज क्लोज मैथ क्लोज नाउ ओके नॉर्मली आफ्टर राइटिंग जावा प्रोग्राम वी हैव टू एक्सेस ए इंटरफेस डेटा बी क्लास डेटा एंड सी क्लास डेटा ऑल ऑफ यू रिमाइंड वन थिंग व्हेन यू आर गोइंग टू वर्क विद रिहार्टेंस कांसेप्ट Don't create object to super class and sub class separately. If I create object to final sub class, I can access sub class data as well as parent class data also. Sub class data as well as so all super class data also we can access. Okay. See, I will tell you an example. Suppose uh, when you are going to work with inheritance concept in general, real life example, there is a grandfather. There is a father, son, grandson. If I have to, I have to grab properties of this is grandfather, this is father, this is son, this is grandson. Suppose if I want to grab the properties from all, okay, all these persons. If I will kidnap this grandson, then I can grab properties of grandfather, father, son, and grandson. Suppose simply if I will get up grandfather, if I will call to this grandson, hey grandson, bring one core, otherwise I will damage your grandfather means, okay, he will tell simply do your work, he will tell like that. Because this grandfather is having his own properties only, but this grandson is enjoying properties of grandfather, father, son and grandson. Okay, for understanding purpose I explained this. Now come here, the same concept. When you are going to use inheritance concept also, okay, whatever class we are creating, that is subclass, child class, will acquire all the properties from all the parents. That's why if I have to access A class area method, sorry, A interface area method, B class read method, okay, C class area method, no need of creating object to interface class and again this interface. All of these are available in where? C class. If I create object to C class, I can access all of them. Okay, where we have to create object by writing main program. As already you know that Java is purely object oriented language. That's why to write simple main also we have to write separate class. Why I have to write separate class? Already we are writing class. In that class, please write public static void main string class. So not like that, I will close this class here. I want to write separate program, yes, you can write class interface demo, public static void main, then create object to C class. You can access A interface data, B class data, and C class data also. Okay, why to write separate class? Already we have written here now. So public static void main string orgs. String. Okay, create object to C class C C one equal to C. Okay, first call C one dot read because without using radius value, I can't find out area circle. Then call C one dot area. C one dot area. Main close class close. Now you get to find out how to save this program. Okay, where we have written main class C class. If you want to save it as write C dot Java, or you can use interface demo dot Java. While compiling program, use Java C interface demo dot Java. But while running program, what is the main class name? Where main class locates in C class Java C. You have to write it. Okay, this is the program to demonstrate multiple inheritance. Okay. Students and friends, all of you remind one thing. When you are going to create a cl class from the interface, we have to use implements keyword. While creating class from the interface, interface may have n number of abstract methods. Those n number of abstract methods should be defined in the newly created class or newly implemented class. In industry, they will use the technology. Newly implemented class means 
in the newly created classes. The same way when you are going to define it, define that method as a public method. It interface may have one, two, three, or four, or five abstract methods. All of them should be defined in the newly implemented class or newly created class. Sir, from this interface, I want to create one more class. Then also, in that class also, you have to define all these abstract methods. I don't want to define. Then, if you don't want to define means, declare this class as abstract class. What is abstract class? I will explain in the next video. This is regarding sample example program using multiple inheritance using interfaces concept. Actually, in Java language, to implement multiple inheritance, we should use interface concept. Please go through this video, like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you.